When somebody says to me, we've won marriage equality, now the fight is over, I say, wait a minute. There is a huge backlash. We're not just talking about the Bible anymore. Our opponents are now trying to bring in the Constitution. They love to use the, the words religious liberty or religious freedom. But what they really mean is a license to discriminate based on religion. Really, most people are not trying to be homophobic. Most Christians, English-speaking Christians, are trying to be faithful to their understanding of Scripture. That night, the door was locked. And I started calling, I was like, Mama, open the door, I'm here. And she looked at me and she said, you're never getting back in this house. And Ryan's faith was really genuine. He was really silly and really playful, did lots of like silly youth group things, but he also loved Bible study and took church really seriously. It was a gradual process, but he really jumped on the bandwagon of, okay, I don't have to be gay. When I was born and for the first 21 years of my life, I was known as Tim. But the reality is, is I've always been Sarah. I've always been the girl I know I am, even if the world didn't see it at the time. The only word I can think of to explain how I felt was devastation. And I said to her, don't do this. Please, don't do this. Like acceptance of anything, it wasn't so much the learning, it was the letting go. I've let go of my daughter. My daughter isn't there anymore. I think I've come to understand that God doesn't cause it to happen, but God is always there. And so I, I believe. Until we create a safe space for all of God's people to be who they are, love who they love, parents are gonna be afraid for their kids, and fear of culture plus fear of being wrong in the eyes of God is an unholy cocktail that creates an unsafe place for these young people to come out and be who they are.